Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how one item can change your look completely. What's up guys, welcome back to Gen Slimes. I'm George, if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please hit that bell icon. It really, really helps us out, especially while we are all stuck at home doing nothing. So today, while we are stuck at home, I decided to do a little different video from what we normally do, but I wanted to show you how just changing up one item in your outfit can make a huge difference. So today I've put on a basic neutral outfit, gray t-shirt, um, dark denim from Mott & Bow, and I'm gonna go through a lot of the jackets in my closet and show you how, you know, just changing up the jacket can change up the vibe of a whole outfit. So before we begin, I just wanna say that this is gonna work with all of the jackets in my closet, just because my outfit is so simple. Um, you probably won't see my shoes, but I would probably put on a pair of Chelsea boots or clean white sneakers because that's gonna be kind of a neutral shoe option for me, which will work with all of these jackets. All right guys, so up first we have this bomber military style jacket from Para Jumpers. I literally just got this last week. Um, very excited to wear it outside, but I've been wearing it around the house for a few Zoom calls and a few live streams. And I really, really like it. It's like slim fit enough. I did get a size medium. Um, fits like a glove and I can still move around in it, but the suede is super soft, super comfortable. Accessories on the sleeves and the, the waistband and whatnot, but it has this kind of more sophisticated collar. So I'd say this as like a, like a dressed up Indiana Jones, rugged, sophisticated vibe, if that makes any sense. All right guys, so up next we have this Harrington jacket from Lacoste. I would say this is pretty much the same vibe as the jacket before, the para jumpers jacket, just without the ruggedness. So if you wanna look sophisticated, you wanna have a more preppy, put together vibe, this will do the job. Um, lightweight, very much a spring jacket, but you know you can wear it with a collared shirt underneath, you can wear it with a t-shirt, uh, you can zip it up, and it just gives off that kind of sophisticated city vibe. I would say this is kind of an older silhouette, maybe not a high school, college first choice, depending on your style. But for me, I got into these right after college and I've been wearing them pretty consistently ever since. All right guys, up next we have this overcoat from Rod and Gun. A jacket video would not be complete without me featuring an overcoat. I'm sure you've seen this in many other videos, but I did pick this one in particular because of the texture on the sleeves. It's a more kind of casual, less sophisticated. It's not like your camel hair, not super luxurious, but you can dress it up and you can dress it down. So that is why I picked this coat. It is a little slimmer fit, so it works with the casual vibe, but you know, you can wear an overcoat. I think an overcoat's probably one of those jackets that if you don't dress up very often, but you still wanna kinda sophisticate things up, an overcoat is the coat for you. Um, this one is from Rod and Gun, like I said. I love this coat so much. I wear it probably, you know, once a week in the winter when it's actually cold enough to wear a coat. Pop the collar, gets a little more casual hang out. All right guys, and up next is my denim jacket from Hudson. I wear this constantly as you guys probably have seen in a ton of other videos. This is like my favorite go-to denim jacket. It has these little zips on the side which kind of switch it up from your standard denim jacket, but I just love the way this jacket fits. Um, I've probably worn this exact outfit many times and I probably added, you know, a hat or something to this outfit just to kind of switch it up. But as you can see, this is more of a rugged Canadian tuxedo kind of vibe, which I would probably wear more out like to happy hour, out to a bar or brunch with friends. All right guys, so up next I have this kind of bomber puffer with a collar jacket from Singer and Sargent. This jacket is probably going to fit the same scenarios as the Harrington jacket, except this is gonna cover your fall and winter temperatures. So the Harrington jacket from Lacoste, probably more spring, summer, more lightweight. This one's gonna be a little bit warmer, but fit the same exact outfits and the same vibes. So up next, we have this faux suede bomber from ASOS. I get so many compliments on this jacket. It is unbelievable. I'm sure you've seen it in a few videos before. This jacket is probably the classiest version of a bomber that I own. Now, I don't know if I would still wear it with kind of a dress shirt and tie. I don't think it can get that sophisticated or that classy, but you can definitely make a casual outfit more sophisticated when you throw something that's suede, looks nice, and looks luxurious over top of it. All right guys, so up next on the list is another bomber, but this is like your completely casual style bomber. So this one is from 5'4", has the two-tone different colors, the brown, the black, um, little white piping in there, and it just definitely screams 
I'm gonna go have a beer with the boys, I'm gonna hang out and watch the game. It's not going to dress up a suit or it's not gonna look great with a shirt and tie, but this thing looks awesome when you just throw it over a basic t-shirt and jeans. All right guys, so I just realized that I have one, a ton of bombers in my closet and two, a ton of jackets from Hudson. So this jacket is also from Hudson. Um, this is more your military standard style bomber. Like when you think of original bomber jackets, they might be a little puffier, a little wider, but this is pretty much your standard bomber jacket style. So got the zippers, got the pockets up here. Um, this thing right here, which doesn't go anywhere. I'm never, I'm not really sure what this does. If anybody knows, can you please explain why there's a zipper to nowhere? Um, sometimes I put a pen in there, but don't really know why. So this bomber is going to be a little more rugged than the other two. This is kind of like your boots, um, you know, your, depends on where you are, like where you live. This is going to be more of a rugged vibe versus the other two, which were more sophisticated, but also still very casual. Alrighty, and last but not least, we have once again another bomber from Hudson. This bomber is kind of your sweatshirt material, so it's like a thicker sweatshirt, um, has this camo print on it, which is pretty awesome and definitely differentiates it from a lot of other bombers, especially other bombers that are in my closet. But I will say that this is going to be the most trendy of the pieces and you'll probably get the least amount of wear out of it because it does make the biggest statement. So the more subtle your jackets are, the more versatile they're gonna be. This one is going to be a little louder and I do get less use out of it, but when I do wear it, it does make a statement. So I would say this one probably isn't your first jacket in your closet, but it's definitely good to have a piece that pops. So as you can see, just changing up one simple thing like the jacket you're wearing on a simple t-shirt and jeans can completely change the vibe from classy to rugged to casual to fun and funky. So when you're building your wardrobe, try to figure out what you wear a lot of, and then try to figure out what you can layer it with to kind of switch up the vibe. So think about it this way. You have a core collection of what you wear on a regular basis. For this outfit, it is a basic t-shirt and jeans. Now I can throw on a different color t-shirt, I can throw on different color jeans, but I can throw on a jacket that really sets the vibe for what I want to portray to the world. So that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you learned something. Um, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share this with your friends, um, hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps us out. If you haven't followed us on Instagram yet, please give us a follow over there and comment down below which jacket was your favorite, which jacket you would rock, and which jacket you would throw in the garbage. All right, cheers guys.